In this problem, we're told a bicycle tire is spinning clockwise at 2.5 radians per second. During a time, 1.25 seconds, the tire stopped and spun in the opposite direction, counterclockwise, also at 2.5 radians per second. Calculate A, the change in the tire's angular velocity, omega, right? And then B, the tire's average angular acceleration, alpha. So in order to solve this problem, there's a few things you have to know, right? So for A, we're trying to find the angular velocity, which we denote by omega, right? It kind of looks like a W. And so basically we need to find omega, right, or the change in omega, sorry. So we're finding the change in omega. And then for B, we're trying to solve for the average angular acceleration. And we denote that by alpha, right? And it kind of looks like that. So these are the two things we need to find, right? And so there's a, a few other things you should know. When something is road, so you know in kinematics, right? If we have a line like this, in normal kinematics, if something's moving to the right, we say that it's going in the positive direction. If something's going in the left, we say it's negative. For rotational things like this, if it's going counterclockwise, we say it's positive. If it's going clockwise, we say it's uh, negative, right? So this would be negative, this would be positive, right? So those are the few things you have to keep in mind. All right, so basically, let's just start with A. So we're trying to find the change in the angular acceleration or angular velocity, right, omega. So basically, if you want to find the change in something, you just take the final minus the initial, right? And that's how you find the change. So the final, right, is going to be what? So it first goes 2.5 radians per second clockwise, and then goes 2.5 radians per second counterclockwise. So the final is going to be 2.5. But since it's going counterclockwise, it's positive, right? So 2.5, and then minus, and then omega initial, right? It's going clockwise, therefore it's negative, right? So it would be minus, minus 2.5. 2.5 minus minus 2.5 is just 5. So the change is going to be 5 radians per second. So that's going to be the change, right? And that's pretty obvious to see. It goes from negative to positive 5. So yeah, 5 radians per second. Now let's do alpha, right? So we're trying to find uh, the tire's average angular acceleration. So the way we do that, right, is by taking, right? So keep in mind, alpha, right, angular acceleration is the change in omega over the change in time, right? Think about it just like acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. Angular acceleration is just the change in the angular velocity over the change in time, right? So basically they're the same as the normal variables except for rotational. And so there's just different names. So it's gonna be the change in omega, which is, what is it, the change five, and then you're dividing by the change in time. So how long does this take? 1.25 seconds, right? So it's gonna be five divided by 1.25. And if you do that, you'll get four. So it's gonna be four and then the units are radians per second squared. So this one's radians per second, this is radians per second squared, just like meters per second and meters per second squared. So they're very similar just to the normal kinematic variables, the rotational ones. So yeah, four radians per second squared, that's your answer to B, five radians per second is your answer to A, and hopefully you found this useful.